female friends. I don't. I'm I'm incapable of that. Why? And, what do you mean? Well, because you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Real. Well, I have a wife, and I don't I don't really have female friends because look. Okay, let's get rid of this myth <laughs> I right here. Know why. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, "Yeah, I'm. We're friends." No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. Men think this way? Uh, 99.9% .9 of us think that way. YouTube, what do you do? It's your boy, Steph. So, uh, yeah, man, we're going to talk about this one with Steve Harvey, man. Um, and I 100% agree with him. I 100% agree with him. And you know who he's watching? You know who the whole world is watching right now that's talking on these topics? Kevin Simmons. Kevin Simmons. So, what is the benefit of you being a woman's friend? What's the benefit? Um, she can teach me about the goods. No. Um, she can be your wingman. No. Um, somebody to talk to. No. So again, what's the benefit that you get from a female friend? You get nothing. I'm going to tell you what you get. You get zoned. That's what happens. Because I still to this day, and I always say this. I still to this day never met a female that put me on game about women. Not even my mama. Sorry, mama. I know you're watching. But it's the truth. Not even my mama. My mama did never put me on game about women. The woman that loves me unconditionally. Didn't teach me about women. Didn't teach me about why they do what they do. So you think a random girl that you so-called just wanted to be her friend? First of all, we grown. What I look like wanting to be your friend? Now, granted, you grew up with somebody that's different. She's a business partner that's different. Those are benefits. We're just talking about strictly female friend. What, you want to talk to her about how her day went? Care about how your day went? I didn't get in those guts. Care? I don't care about how your day went. <laughs> Let me spread them cheeks open. And get them sweet watery guts. But that's what I care about. I don't care about how your day went. What they got to do with me? You're not my chick. I'm going to give y'all a story. It was this fine brown skinned girl. Fine. And she knew I liked her. She knew I wanted to get with her. But it's this thing called the friend zone. I would always tell her how beautiful she is. I always tell her that, you know, she deserves better. I'll get to that. And I always just, you know, just try to just, just be nice. And I just, 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 I just wait my turn. I just hope and pray that my turn will come. I just hope and wait. I'm hoping, pray my turn to come, right? My turn never came. The day never came of me getting no sweet watery guts. Not a, not an explicit picture. Not a video chat. Not a nothing. Just hope. Just her selling me a little bit of dream. Ooh, you cute, Steph. Ooh, look at you with your hair cut. You feel what I'm saying? There's always two sides to a coin with a story. So while she's doing that to me and I'm validating her, guess what she's crying to me about? So you know that story, a shoulder to cry on is a digging stick to ride on? It's also 
a shoulder to cry on is a bloody tampon to cry on as well. Also known as it's bloody because you dying inside. You're dying inside because you want to get to her sweet watery guts. So it's two sides to the story. I'm on the side of I want her and she's complaining to me about the guy that's digging in her guts every day, G. And what I'm doing is I'm giving her advice that's making her sweet, watery guts more wet and watery for the guy that she wants. And she don't even want me, G. That's the friend zone for you. That's being a female friend for you. Oh, uh, do you see Do you see her as objects? Do you see me as an emotional tampon? Do you see me as somebody you can suck dry that you don't even like me? And I'm not talking about shuck dry till I bust. I'm talking about sucking my energy dry. Is that how you see me? Do you only see me as for attention and validation? You don't like me. You don't want me. You don't want nothing to do with me. But you gonna use me and sell me a dream. She gonna sell you a dream. On the flip side, your girl, your wife or a chick that you messing with, you know what I'm saying? She said she got, oh, this dude, you always see this dude come around, always see this dude texting her phone. And she tell you, don't worry about it, it's just a friend. But the friend is, <laughs> I'm about to bust every time. But she always tell you that he ain't doing nothing. She always tell you that he's just a friend. But deep down inside his mind as a man, he see them fat, round cheeks. And he want to open them, spread them wide and get in them too. G, but society won't tell you that. Society just tell you, he's just a friend. He's just a brother. He's my best friend. He's just a friend. He's just my brother. He's just a best friend. He's just a friend. He's just my brother. He's just a best friend. Guess what he doing? Getting in them sweet watery uh, guts every fucking time. Every time. She won't tell you that though. She won't tell you that. But you have a female. Let's, let's just say you have a female friend. Ask her how you can get chicks. You know what she gonna tell you? Just be just be straight up forward and honest with her. And you will get her. That shit don't work. It don't work! Straightforward. Tell her what tell her what you really want to do to her. That's all you gotta do. That don't work. That's not game. You don't need a female friend. Period. I told you about the couple. Well, the, the guy that's stuck in the friend zone at the gym, he looks sick every day. He's shaking her hand. But it's not he's shaking her hand. She's shaking his hand. He want a hug. She's shaking his hand, G. He want to get in those sweet watery guts. She's shaking his hand, G. And I guarantee you, while they're talking on Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook, she complaining about the dude that says them sweet watery guts. She, she complaining about that dude in them sweet watery guts. She complaining about that dude in them sweet watery guts. Period. Guess who been there? Me. You've been there too. Don't lie and say you haven't been there. You know you've been there. If I just try a little harder, a little harder. If I just try a little harder. Oh, well, you're missing out on a woman putting you on game. You're missing out on a woman giving you business, business advice. Business advice on what? She works at Walmart. This another one too. Even when you approach her and she don't like you and you steady pursuing, steady approaching, steady pursuing, steady approaching, steady trying, steady trying to prove yourself. Guess where you end up, buddy? In the friend zone. You belong in the friend zone. But when she approach you, you can never get friend zone, see? When she trying to prove to you why she should make you bust, you ain't never going to get in the friend zone, see? the caveat. That's the flip of the switch. So, you're the orbiter. 
You're the orbiter. You're the guy just waiting, waiting to bust the cheeks wide open. You waiting. You ready and waiting. Ready to get in her sweet watery guts. And when your time comes, you're going to be like, ah! Your time ain't going to never come, brother. Your time ain't going to never come. Because she don't like you. She see you as a friend. But see, women want you to be up front and honest, but they not up front and honest with you. They won't tell you. Don't, don't women decide within the first five seconds you can get in their guts. Why she won't tell you, you know, we ain't going to do nothing. I just want to be your friend. Don't even try nothing. Now she wants she to sell you a dream, but they don't want you to sell her a dream. How that look? How that sound? Equality? <laughs> right? Your girl steady saying that he's just a, a friend. Your girl steady saying that he's my best friend. Your girl steady saying that he's just my brother. Well, there is no biological background. They're not related. But I guarantee you, it's one of these three options, bro. And I, I promise you, you better listen to me when I say this. It's one of the three options. He in the guts. He, he already been in the guts. Or he's going to get in the guts. Because men don't do nothing for a woman unless he benefits something. And that's facts. That's facts. Unless you a beta male sent mangina. You cannot be, uh, you cannot be uh, friends with a female that you find attractive. And if you want to be a platonic friend, that don't even make sense. She's your associate. Y'all can talk about different topics and situations, but other than that, I don't want to be your friend. Because you benefit everything from the friendship. I benefit nothing. I call you and ask you for $300, I guarantee you won't give it to me. But if you call me and ask me for $300, I'm the beta male simp. Oh, sure. Well, if I give her $300, maybe she'll shuck me off till I bust. Ryan! She didn't suck me till I bust! She's steady complaining about Chad. When you gonna realize that you friend zone, bro, and you never gonna get out, G. So no, men and women cannot be friends. Just we're just friends. No, it's just an associate. And I'm not saying this is how women think. This is how women think. Oh, so basically you saying. Every girl you come across, you want to get in and get it in with her. No. Basically, what I'm saying is, by my biological imperative, it's in me to want to dig out women who are who I am attracted to. It's, it's in me to want to dig her out till she busts. Unless I'm a robot. Girl.